Hello, everybody. Welcome into Inside Cornerstone, your weekly look at everything going on with our church here in Alexander City, Cornerstone First Global Methodist Church. I'm Brett Pritchard alongside Billy Coleman. He is the pastor at Cornerstone First Global. Coach, good to see you this morning and uh, a lot going on in the world. A lot can happen in a week, Brett. A lot happens. <laughs> I mean, yeah. my goodness. From one week to the next. And, uh, Are we a news agency today? Well, I mean, I, well as we, Good news. The good news agency, the right? The good news agency. We don't, we, don't, uh, we don't deal in the bad news and no, the negative on here, but no. uh, we are glad that everybody joins us uh, each and every week. We it sure is, are. Uh, that you tune us in and uh, we got a fun show for you today. I, I will say we, we don't start off uh, all the time with, with with joyous news, and I don't know that this uh, would be any different than that as we go on the air, as we're filming this midweek. Uh, mm -hmm. There's like a massive attack going on in the Middle East oh. uh, that is very important to all of us in the world. And, uh, uh, you know, we don't know. This thing has escalated. Uh, I think the world was worried that it might get to this point, and uh, yeah. it has. And you and I have talked on this program numerous times about oh, yeah. the history of Israel, where they fit in the world. We've done the history lesson on here. We're not going to go into all that today, but just it is of, it is of importance to everybody out there to be monitoring what's going on half a world away from us that really impacts everything that we do here well there's just there's a lot of conflict in the world i mean there's always been that but i think we're living in a time right now from within our country and certainly from without uh the threat of terror uh, has got to be stopped and and, and i just got to tell you something I, it to see a world leader like the prime minister of israel take a take a stand and not compromise and not even allow our country to right. cause him to compromise right. that's their land it's biblical they're not giving it up and they're going to make their decisions and do what's best and if their war with the terrorists benefits every civilization in this world who has not uh, how many people have we lost right. to terrorist attacks on our military a lot. And, and and i remember a time uh not calling we call 9 11 when this whole country was staggered with with the terrible events that happened in new york and to see it to see a guy that takes a stand on his convictions and represents his people, in spite of all the odds, he is surrounded by people that want to kill the Jewish people. Right. And yet he stands, and he will not let go of his belief system. I mean, it's inspiring. Well, we talk and, about that. You know, it's we talk about ahead. that with Christianity all the yeah. time, um, and, and we actually talked about it in our Sunday school class this past Sunday, yeah. in, in, in in being. Um, uh, you know, a Standing up. Well, no, well, being, a, <laughs> be, being a Christian that understands the Great Commission, yeah, right. to go out and make disciples, sure, yeah, and 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 to spread the word, and and we and we posed this question it was a rhetorical question. We said, you know, how many of us are evangelical, and how many of us go out and make it a priority every day? to try to minister to other people. And you know, the and we said what prevents you from going out and doing that? And the number one answer, uh this is not family feud by the way, but the number <laughs> one answer on the board was fear for sure. for not not, the, not fear of saying that I'm a follower of Christ and and talking to somebody, fear of not knowing an answer to a question that they may throw back at us. So there hmm. was a point that was made in our class and Interesting. by somebody else that said, we always want to make things personal. And here's the, and I thought it was described the best I'd ever heard. It's not personal. When you go talk to somebody that doesn't know Christ or is not a non is a non-believer, and they ask you a question about something that you may not know the answer to, he he said, here's the deal. You still believe you follow Christ. You know Christ. You're trying to help somebody else get to Christ. If they want to reject what you're saying, wipe your feet off. It, it's 
It's their issue. Yeah. You're doing what you can. Now, again, we Good all answer. don't have the answer to everything. No. And and you know what? It's okay sometimes to say, and this was brought up too, and I'll, I'm going somewhere. They, it's, it's okay to say, I don't know the answer to that. I'll get back to you. Well, it was also said in our class that sometimes when you say, I don't know, it makes you look like it, it makes your – your point that you're trying to make or the, the argument you're trying to make, it, it, it makes it irrelevant. Less it, it makes, yeah. So, and I, tr I don't agree with that. I think, yeah. and I was told this years ago, when I'd go out and recruit students for a community college that I worked for for a long time, yes, I know a lot about our policies. I know a lot about our curriculum. I know a lot about admissions. I know a lot about financial aid, but every once in a while I'd get a question from a student or a parent, right. and I wouldn't know the answer. And here's the deal. It is much better to say, good question. I don't know the exact answer to that right now, but I will get it for you. I will come back. For, rather than make up some gibberish right. and not know what you're Makes talking sense. about. Yeah. So I've always, again, it's an ego thing sometimes, but it is so much better to say, and it's okay, because there's a lot of people out there in jobs that they know everything about their job, but they're going to get hit with a question every once in a while about what goes on in their organization that they may not know the answer to. Right. Same with the Bible. Same with Jesus Christ. You may not know exactly how to respond. It's okay to say, I don't know. Well, sure. The difference, the difference is, you know, Christ and somebody that, else that's does it. it. That's it. And it's from the heart. I mean, me and you are pretty good friends. Right. If somebody came up to you and you got to talking about me, your answer would be, well, wait a minute now, I, I know him. Right. I know I know how he feels on that. Why? Because I mean, because I know him. Right. Not because I've got the answer to a sophisticated question. Right. But I do know him. Right. And, and I know you. And we know Christ in our heart. And we simply try our best to answer from that perspective. And there will be things. You're right, Britt. There are going to be things we... We don't know. Uh, before the show's over, we're going to talk about something major that we don't know. Right. And that's the tragedy that has occurred on the eastern side of this country with the hurricane. Oh, man. And uh, we should, we'll talk about well, I know we're going to talk about no, that. No, well, we are. But, you know, you brought up the point of Netanyahu standing in, yes. literally in the ring of fire right. over in the Middle East saying, I'm not wavering. I'm here. We're going to defend. Getting booed by the U.N. Yeah, building. Yeah, right. We're, we're going <laughs> to you know, be... You know, we are going to be who we are because we're called to be this. And, yeah. you know, I think it ties into what I said about it does. us yes, I got all that. individually having an opportunity to go out and take a stand. Well, take a stand, be a, yeah. be a minister for Christ and right. bring people in. They have to make a decision whether they want to accept what you're saying or not. They have right. to make a decision whether they want to challenge what you're saying or not. They have to make a decision whether they are willing to accept Christ right. into their life. And I can't go to heaven for you and vice versa. Well, but, again, you're, but your witness is giving them a right. choice. Correct. And without that, that, the right choice can't be made because it's not presented Willie Rock, we're them. watching, uh, I will tell you, uh, it, the name of the series is called A Gospeller, Being a Gospeller, Going Out and Preaching the Word mm. of, of God. And Willie Robertson... Duck Dynasty is the one that talks about it, and, he, and he's leading the deal. Yeah. But he's talking about how important it is to, again, go out and tell and tell his word, and and to and to spread and be a disciple of Christ. And again, it has to be up to the, the Great Commission. He left; he didn't leave a detailed, long list of things when he was leaving earth. Jesus didn't. Right. He left one simple com right. commission. And it's That's the right. great commission. He didn't make it complicated. No. It wasn't all these things you had to check off to do when he was leaving before he said, one day I'll come back. He said, just go do this. He made the game plan about as simple as it could be. Right. And and, and he told you what happened if you don't get a good response. Right, right. Just going down to the next just place. Go, let's go next. Yeah, right. You know, and we'll just keep going, and we keep telling everybody uh, about Christ. And uh, hopefully one of those that we talked to down the line that we've moved on from 
the light bulb goes off in their head or yeah. they go, they come to us and that happens. They come back to us and go, Hey man, you know, a month or two or three, and I know we got to get to break. You came and talked to me and man, every Christian's got a story. It spurned them That's on to right. go do some research That's on their right. own. That's right. And maybe it allowed God to come talk to them and maybe they opened their hearts. All right, we're up against our first break. Stay tuned. More to come right after this. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau tri tunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services, which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 256- 749-6634 or visit her website amandascroggins.com today. Hey everybody, I'm Brett. Billy. And I'm Matt. And we want you to join us each week for Inside Cornerstone. Coach, Matt, excited to have this show on every single day throughout the week leading up to Sunday. Jesus Christ is going to be glorified in everything we do. You won't just be listening to messages. You're going to be hearing about things going on in our church. And make sure you join us at our worship services, 9 and 11 o'clock. Join us each week right here on Inside Cornerstone on WAXC-TV. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Back here on Inside Cornerstone, uh, again, kind of carrying over from what we said in the in the first segment. I think you know that's something that we don't talk about enough on this show, and we don't talk about enough maybe in church and stress that uh, it, it's and and this was also another. I'm, I hate to give a total recap of our Sunday school class, but I, well, that I sounds awfully good to really me. Really good, really good point. Good discussion. That, well, there was, and yeah. uh, another point that was made is that it's easy. It's easy to share the word of God with other Christians. <laughs> Good point. Right? I mean, it, it's easy to uh, – yeah. it, it, you're in a comfort zone. And, and, and again, when you're in groups of like-minded people, like-hearted people, uh, it doesn't matter if it's your favorite football team or if you're talking about Jesus Christ or it's something that's career-oriented or whatever. Uh, you're way more comfortable talking about that subject with people who agree with you, oh, yes, when absolutely. You, when you when you stand up 
and we won't say names and we won't use examples and I won't, I'll make this generic, but you and I have had multiple of these in our lives when somebody stands up or somebody says something against a belief of yours, you have one of two choices that you can make. You can, you can choose not to respond mm -hmm. or you can choose to respond. And a lot of times when you respond, it may not be the popular thing. It may be one of those deals where you go, well, how are people going to look at me when I stand up for what I believe in? But to me, I'm all, and you know me real well, I, I'm, I don't shy away from much. And if mm -hmm. somebody challenges me, I'm, I'm going to stand up if yeah. it's a room of three or a room of 300. A lot of people yep. got martyred. Right. For taking that stand, crucified on crosses, burned alive. They have. The early church. But yeah. I think I couldn't live with myself at night going Without home knowing it. I went yeah. and cowered away from what That's I truly right. believe in versus the whatever the situation is of how people would view me for standing up for what I believe in. Does that That's make sense? Oh, I'm put me down. I want to be in that club. <laughs> I mean, yeah. there's a lot of people, though, I'm that great. when faced with that, and I don't want to say dilemma, but faced with that situation, they choose the latter. They choose to just <clears throat> kind of go to the side and not be controversial. I think we're a little more that way than we used to be. I mean, I think there's a trend where we, we don't we don't take a stand quite so often because of the resistance. And then you got on you the know. other hand, you got others that at every opportunity they do everything they can to shout their they do. their their beliefs and ambitions and try to push them on top of you and and again i think christians we've we've had this talk multiple times in our sunday school class and on the show they just they they're peace-minded people and they choose the path of le the path of least resistance mm -hmm. a lot of times and, and that causes compromise and that's exactly the word i was going to say right. you, you compromise your own self at the end of the day yeah. when you choose to walk away. I'm not saying instigate fights, I know. but I'm saying you believe this way. Somebody is countering you and telling you that your way of believing is wrong and you choose to just say, oh, okay, and, and go on. And it's almost like accept defeat. And, and that's, again, the world, you just said it to start the show, we have a lot of turmoil in this world right now and as much as we've ever had right probably. and i think uh doing the studies we've done in our sunday school class and the facts that we brought up on this show and christianity is is declining mm -hmm. and, and 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 it's because people are afraid to stand up for it and i know that's a a tough statement to say and i'm not saying that that goes for every christian but there's a lot of christians out there that are in situations not like you and I in a country where we can openly worship and believe, but they're put in they're put in very precarious situations where it really it really may be life or death if they stood up. So they choose to kind of yeah. take the path of least resistance. Does that make sense? It absolutely makes sense. And we have before us an example in Christ who stood up for us. He went to the cross. He he could have gotten out of it, even ask God, you know, if there's a chance, maybe we can do this another way. But at the end of the day, he did God's will. He took a stand. He went to the cross for you and for me, and he expects us to take a stand. And we're not alone, Brett. That's the key. We're not alone. Christ is with us. He gives us the strength to take a stand and to overcome the odds that are out there. And uh, that that's we just keep our eyes on him. How many times? do we say that uh, at Cornerstone? Just keep your eyes on Christ. Follow him. Those are his words. Follow me. And if we do that, he will give us the resources. He will equip us. Uh, you know, they, it talks about the, uh, the, the spiritual shield that we have, the sword, you know, all the things that protect us as we go out and fight the fight for Christ. And people have been persecuted all through the years for it, and uh, it, it, it's it's a war. And, and you know, I don't want us to get too involved in this, but we had legacy builders a while ago, and we got in a discussion. I didn't. I thought I was going to be late for the show. I was a little late today, 
And, and we got to talking about if we think that this battle is not in our own community, then we got our we got our heads in the sand. This fight that's going on is everywhere. It's right here. Our children, as they go to uh, out in, in, into school and into their life and on the competitive fields, they face every day the temptations of the world. And it is our responsibility to equip them to go out there and be strong enough that they well, can they can take a stand because they, they you know Brett we don't you, you know you really can't hurt me that much as old as I am I mean yeah, you, that, uh, it's so what but when you're a young person and, and you very, go out very very yeah. influential that or, or, yeah or 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 being peer influential. pressure's right. very a powerful well, you thing you said going out into the our, our kids are going out in the world yeah. being influenced and being uh, you know. What they and then they're also being told and that and discredited that they're what they believe they're disc, they're fighting a bunch of battles they're fighting mm -hmm. a bunch of, there's not a bunch of me and you out there reinforcing what they believe in it's the opposite of that they go out and they're subjected to things in the real world mm -hmm. and they hear people that they may confide in tell them hey you know Jesus not real he why you believe that. Mm -hmm. And 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 then they may they get in an argument, and again it goes back to the conversation that I had just a minute ago about mm -hmm. our Sunday school class. May not have the answer to back it up. What if you get pushed into a corner? I don't know if Kane just likes you or not. So when we did the Kane and I are like is, I, we're, we're I, anyway, unbelievably I just, <laughs> close. I, I think Kane you and I. keep the camera on you. But well, again, the maybe. But the but the kids may are faced with that. And if they don't know the answer, they may get ridiculed, and mm -hmm. and they may they may be told, "See, I told you, you don't even know the answer." And you know how that builds an embarrassment, yeah. and and so it is more important today than ever to to mm -hmm. to reassure them and to make sure. And we had this talk again in our Sunday school class. A mama said, "I I spend more time every day encouraging and reassuring my boys." of where to be and to be involved in church and all more than ever, more than, ever. and you know, I think Willie Robertson said it in the, in, in the message. He said, those last words you hear that those parting words, when you're leaving your home every day from your spouse or from your parents or whatever, those parting words that Jesus left with the disciples, his last words are so, that those carry such weights. It's the last thing you hear. Like Absolutely. my wife will tell every day of her life with our kids, she goes, make good choices. The last thing she would say hmm. to both of our children walking out the door until this day, mm -hmm. she goes, and she tells it to me too, because she knows how I am. She, hey, make, make good choices. She but, might get but, a few aunts and uncles that, behind that, her on that. Right, right. There's no <laughs> doubt. But again, those words, if anything, right. she wants whatever situation our kids are in those words to resonate the last thing their mother told them walking out the door is, hey make good choices hmm. and think about that in the back of your mind and that's what jesus did right as he was leaving earth hmm. to tell the disciples go make more of you hmm. go tell my story and that's he didn't leave this complex plan for for in, in list of things to have to check off, he just said, "Hey, I'm gonna task you with one simple thing: go out and tell a word, tell my to be, be disciples, and go create more disciples." Amen. I got an idea. Let's say our show is taped. What does it run? 128 times a week? Or I what? think something like that. Yeah, I think it's six times. Right. So if you're listening to the show now, the next time this show runs. I would like to ask you to have your children sitting out there watching. So we're going to pretend that this is the next show, and you got your kids sitting out there now. You've told them. Brother Billy and Brother Brett got a message. Now, are you listening to me, boys and girls, young men and young women? Are you listening? 
We love you and support you. We are behind you 100%. Anything we can do to help you. But Christ is in you, and you are going to be a great witness in our community and in our schools. You're going to take a stand. And when you think that you might back down to a strong uh, situation that you're in, remember us. We love you. We'll be there for you. Call us. Yeah. We'll be there. We Your don't parents, physically have to be there. Right. We're, we're, we're behind you. Your parents will be there. Your grandparents. Right. What about the whole church when we stand up in church? We're not kidding right there. The whole church is behind you in your decisions. You have an You're army. not alone. You have an army behind you. Right. You have an army of supporters. And, look, the enemy wants to tell you that you're wrong. That The enemy wants you to fail. The enemy, they take pride in in trying to embarrass you. Don't let them. No. Hey, stand tall right. on your beliefs. Be who you are. Know that Christ is the only way in, in this world. We all make mistakes. We all are sinners. I do it every single day. I fall way short of the cross every every single day. But I do know who who is my Savior. Right. And that I don't ever je – I'll never – let any person on this earth jeopardize that. Right. And that's the mind mentality that you have to have out there. And no, I'm am I the, the perfect example to follow? I am not. But we're not we're none of us are on no. earth. That's why Jesus Christ came right. to, to save all of us. So right. your job is to stand firm. Hey, look, one versus a hundred versus a thousand versus a million. Stand tall, be who you are. Don't jeopardize your faith. And you the enemy, behind you. the enemy wants you. you you're the one that's going to have to fight the they battle. Want you Look to at Brett and I. We're too ugly. The, the enemy doesn't <laughs> want us. Hey, I'm too old. The enemy <laughs> well, doesn't I, want well, me. I, so. Yeah, I, but the, the battle's going to be fought in your life. And I just, we just want you to know that you're not alone. We're right. right there with you. Your parents are. And our whole church. And there's a whole bunch of good churches in this town. The Christians in this community support our young people as you fight the battles that I know you got to fight every day. We've already missed our break. So yeah, we got to go. He's, he's going to yeah. burn our face we off. we got to talk the about the hurricane. Yeah, we will when we come back. Stay tuned. More to come. Thanks. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau Tritunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256-749-6634 or visit her website amandascroggins.com today. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive-through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. 
Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies and pain gels, and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. The Good Guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau Tritunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. All right, back here on Inside Cornerstone. Uh, going to have a little bit shorter of a segment here because we want to have uh, we want to have our uh, full clip of uh, the service. You talk about Paul uh, in the in the service this past Sunday. Uh, we'll we'll let you talk a little bit about that. But uh, before we are before we sign off, uh, the tragedy from the hurricane this past past week. And um, again, we didn't take a direct hit. Here, we've had our direct hit before with Opal and Ivan and, and some of the ones that have come through. Uh, this hurricane narrowly missed Alabama. It still affected us, but the people in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, the amount of rain, the flooding, um, just unbelievable. And, and right now, um, I hate to say it, I don't make this a, uh, a show of – of politics, but right now it's a shame that you look at what's going on with some of our states and the lack of aid, the lack of help. What's, it, it's, it's, it's awful. And so we got a lot of people in, in the southeast in, in need that they're, I mean, their whole towns are destroyed and no power and uh, going to be weeks, going to be weeks yeah. before anything can be done it's just it's a bad situation legacy builders we voted today to give a thousand dollars to a group that's carrying an 18 wheeler of stuff um maybe over in the valdosta area i think but if you'll notice up there at the winn dixie parking lot there's going to be during on weekdays you're going to see an 18 wheeler up there and we gave them 500 dollars to go buy stuff and then five hundred dollars to give to the people down there that need that know what the needs are, and it's, it's going to be a long term, Brett. This ain't going. Right. Yeah, yeah, three a month from now, uh, most of these workers will be gone. Do you remember? And these people are still going to need help. Do you remember uh, Hurricane Michael mm -hmm. a few years ago, the Category Five hurricane that yeah. hit right. just to the east of Panama City, and it yeah. hit Port St. Joe, mm -hmm. and literally wiped it off the map and that right. hurricane went through southwest georgia and on up and lots of damage to these same towns that, mm -hmm. that you're talking about and this was a strong three but michael was a five it's one of the rare fives that have ever made landfall right. but it's still the same deal and i remember it took almost a year for sure. i mean we had people in this area that worked for the phone companies, mm -hmm. power companies that were gone for months at a time. And I saw pictures that came back from those areas, and you literally didn't know where you lived. Mm -hmm. you, didn't, you didn't. There's no landmarks or anything left for you to identify where your property was. And that's just what these people are dealing with again. Well, who would ever thought that a hurricane – would wipe out Black Mountain, North Carolina, Flooding. where the FCA well, camp was. I mean, a, it, it was a combination of a bad, it was bad timing. Yeah. It was a storm front coming across the country with a hurricane coming up. Right. And they met, and it yeah. had already been raining for three days before yeah. the hurricane got there. And so you're talking feet. There were some oh. areas 
three feet of water, not three inches of water, three feet of water fell yeah. in a small amount of time. And the the rivers just, I mean, basically, they, where to they go. didn't swell, they, they exploded. They did. And so you had roads washed away. There's bridges nothing washed. there. Nothing. Uh, and some of the footage of um, it's unbelievable. It's my. It, it it's is, incredible. It's crazy. So it's always you always worry about where the impact of you think about where the hurricane makes landfall. Well, hurricanes is the size of uh, Helene. That 900 miles. I mean <laughs> inland. I mean just a swath. And of, actually, the storm was what. 500 miles wide? Yeah, right. I mean, something like that. It's, I just, mean. it's, it's crazy. So, again, it, it just it's not just where the, the hurricane makes landfall. Um, it's way on up. And, and again, uh, like you said, into uh, uh, western North Carolina, there's a lot of people with bad situations. So we and There's we'll, some, some heavy-duty questions about things like that happening. And, and, you know, Jesus tells a story about the storm fell on, and they rained on the good, the righteous, and the unrighteous. And I, here's what I do know. This country needs to come together, and they need to place these people ahead of themselves. Let's work together, and let's get our brothers back to a, a, some kind of normality in their life instead of running around all the time. And we got a stinking strike going on. I will just get edited. Uh, no, <laughs> right in the middle of these people Needing that supplies. need. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, well, and I, I, just, I just want to see us come together and do right. something in unity to help people and, and, and not be so doggone divided. Well, and, 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 and again, I, I don't. I don't want to say that Ukraine doesn't need assistance. They do. Oh, yeah. But how about a little assistance for our own people? Yeah. You know, we're, that's quick, right. we're quick to send hundreds of millions of dollars at a time across the world to help a country or, or fight. Or in our own country, too. Well, right. But but when we <laughs> ask people for, that aren't. Uh, uh, well, I know. Well, and we're not going to get down that path. <laughs> but, you know, uh, again, just. In a shorter segment yeah. here, I wanted to <laughs> say the thoughts and prayers That's go out to, thing, uh, yes. to our hurt. To the, I mean, because there's going to be opportunities oh yeah. for people to, over the next several months, if you want to help, they're, they're going to need you. Oh, help. yeah. You know, we went through this in Coleman County, not to this extent, but, you know, everybody wants to help at first so much that you can't even organize all the hell. Everybody comes in there, but about six weeks from now, yeah, look, ar look around. Right. We're and all, they yeah. still have needs. You know, it's one thing for us to get knocked out of power. All their power poles are gone. Yeah, they're, they're, they have, they're, they have a system. They've got to rebuild it. Oh, my so, gosh. Yeah, yeah, it's it's my Our prayers well, I, go out to them. I'll never forget, and I know we're up against the, a break. Well, but thanks for keeping me with, on track. With Hurricane Michael, I'll never forget. Uh, one of the guys that I know real well that worked for the phone company that literally went down there for three months and lived because they were stationed down there. Right. He said, man, people lived in tents for months. Hmm. And I want you to think about that for a minute. They literally had to live in a tent. That's going to be December months. and January. Remember that. In the mountains. Yeah. It's, and oh. Again, shelters are going to be overrun. There's going to be uh, a lot of lot of needs for people uh that again you're you're coming down the stretch here into the going into fall into winter and some very cold and inclement weather coming up that they're going to have to deal yeah. with with nowhere to go and every so, every governor bria every governor that was interviewed from one of those states before he got through they would all say in the church is stepping up. They're doing the church. We got churches coming in here from all around us, coming in here to help us do things right, and that—that's a praise. The body of Christ coming together to help. Right. Uh, but th that's what Jesus called us to do. Absolutely. 
Well, and you're right. We, do, I, I, we can get off track on our discussions, and I'm glad that you sent me back on the right track, and that is what can we do to help those people. We've got lots of problems, but the first thing we got to do is we got to help our fellow man in this situation. Because we sure would hope that, Forget they, ourselves. that they would help us if we were in Amen. their situation. Yes, All exactly. right, we're up against the, the final break of the show. One segment coming up right after this. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau tri tunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels, and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749 6634 or visit her website, amandascroggins.com, today. Boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau tri tunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. You will find after the letter to Titus and before the book of Hebrews a little book called Philemon. And I would ask you and challenge you, it's just one chapter, take a few times this week and read it. It's, it is a fantastic book that maybe we don't know about, maybe one of the least read books in the Bible. So the scripture comes from Philemon. The first chapter, the only chapter, verse 15 and 16. Perhaps the reason he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back forever. No longer as a slave, but better than a slave, as a dear brother. He's very dear to me, but even dearer to you, born as a fellow man and as a brother in the Lord. 
May God add its richest blessing to the reading of his word. And may everything that I say, everything that we think, be to glorify Christ. Let us pray. Amen. In Paul's travels, he met a lot of friends, a lot of people that shared with him the gospel message of Christ. And one of those was a gentleman named Philemon. Philemon came to Christ through the preaching of Paul and was a part of the church of Colossae, the Colossian church. He was also a slave owner. And one of his slaves was a man named Onesimus. Now, Onesimus, we think by this chapter, probably took some things from Philemon that he shouldn't have taken, but he also ran away. And whether it's Roman law or Jewish law, that was a punishable offense of death if somebody did that. Well, he took off, and he ended up somehow, by the grace of God, in Rome. And that is where Paul was imprisoned. Now, there was the first imprisonment of Paul was in what they call a house. He couldn't leave the house, but he could preach the message to the people. And people would come and fill the house up, and Paul would speak, and many people would accept Christ. And one of those people, got it, was Onesimus. Onesimus, through Paul, accepted Christ into his life. Now, I mean, that's a great story, but that's not the story we're sharing about today. Because the first thing that Paul does... When Onesimus comes to Christ and Paul realizes through honest conversation what his situation is, he writes this letter to Philemon along with the letter to Colossians and he talks to Philemon about taking his runaway slave back. Unheard of, unbelievable, but that was his letter to his friend, Philemon. <laughs> Paul is a genius. He's a great communicator, and he also knew how to get his way. He was constantly speaking to people about things he was trying to persuade them to believe. And you'll get a kick out of it when you read Philemon, when you see the first few verses of it, Paul says to Philemon, how great he is. You've been a dear friend in Christ. You have done all these things to help the cause of Christ. You're my friend. I believe in you. you he really pumps him up. You got it? And then he slides in, oh, by the way, I met someone that you'll know, Onesimus, who's run away from you, accepted Christ as his Savior, and I'd like to send him back. You'll smile when you read the verse that says, Paul says, you know I could make you do it because of my authority. I could tell you to take him back, but I'm not going to have to do that this time because I know the kind of heart that you have, and I know that you are going to be willing to accept him back. That is what the book of Philemon is about. It is an unbelievable great example of the power of God and the way he brings people together in Christ. You can see a lot of examples of that in the Bible. I think of Peter, who is no way going to take the gospel to Romans. Of course not. But Cornelius has a visit from an angel that says, you need to ask this man Peter to come to your house at the same time Peter has a dream up on top of the roof where a blanket comes down with all kinds of illegal food for the Jewish people to eat. Peter says, I'm not eating any of that food. 
He gets a little lesson that day. Not only is he going to eat some of that food, but he's going to go see a man named Cornelius and does so. And in the process of that, they become friends. Those people that thought that they could never be brought together were brought together in Christ. And at the end of that story, all of Cornelius' household accepts Christ. Daniel, who was a captive slave and was brought into Persia to blend him in to the Persian society, becomes friends with Darius, the very king that sends him to the lion's den, who approaches the den one morning and says, Daniel, servant of the living God, has the God who you continually serve saved you from the lions, hoping that Daniel would be okay, which he was. And then Darius turns around and proclaims to the whole kingdom that Daniel's God is the living God. Or Nebuchadnezzar, an even more brutal Persian king who becomes friends with Daniel. And the story of how a Jewish slave boy becomes a friend of the king because of the power of God. You know, Paul doesn't talk about a lot about social issues in the Bible. He's not, Jesus never talked a whole lot about social issues. Paul's only truth was if, if you have slaves, win your slaves to Christ. And to the slaves, he says, win your owners to Christ. That, that was his purpose. He wanted everyone to be witnesses for God and to bring all the people in their world to Christ. So you didn't hear a whole lot about a time of social problems. And, and Jesus was kind of that way too. But they became brothers. Who, who was Philemon? Philemon was a leader of the church in Colossae. He had a place in his house for Paul to sleep, a bedroom when he came visiting and was speaking. He was a leader. He was a giver. He prayed for Paul, he said, every day. He loved the church. He was a faithful Christian. He had done much for the church. And here Paul sends back Onesimus to his new owner. This is a story about Christian relationships and the thing that God does to mend those relationships. It's a story about forgiveness. Because Onesimus had done something that was punishable by death, Paul asked Philemon to forgive him of that and accept him back. Not as a slave, but as a brother. It's a story about reconciliation. It's hard for us to imagine how upset Philemon must have been when that event happened. And to even think that he could blend his faith into what he was feeling so that he could reconcile his differences with Onesimus seems almost impossible to believe. But that is the power of Christ. And as divided as we seem to be today in our country and in our world, God is in the business of reconciliation. And he asked all of us, to open our hearts up and to reconcile our differences with those that we don't like, those who have done us wrong. It's a story about that. It's a story about law versus grace, where both the laws, Roman and Jews, there was Anesimus' problem was punishable by death. Paul says something later at the end of, uh, of this chapter that I think I need to read to make you think a little bit more. So if you consider me a partner, welcome him as you would welcome anyone. If he has done you any wrong, if he owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, am writing this with my own hand. I will pay it back, not to mention that you owe me your very self. <laughs> That's Paul again. So Paul looks at 
Philemon and says, if he owes you anything, I will pay you back. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749 6634 or visit her website, amandascroggins.com, today. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau Tritunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services, which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256-749-6634 or visit her website amandascroggins.com today. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services, which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels, and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. 